死に場所を求める男の名は百獣のカイドウ。Snow Squad, it's your boy Snow, and welcome back again for another video here in All Star Tower Defense. And I'm pretty sure, guys, that a lot of you have been commenting this、uh, for the past、uh, few videos already. After Big Mom was released here on ASTD for me to create a challenge video consisting of Yonkos only. And for those people who keep on suggesting those things, I just decided to not give a shout out to anyone because, I mean, I've already done this, and at the same time, this is kind of like everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, kind of like everyone's idea. So nobody really owns it. And I guess that that's the best thing to do. Anyway, guys, as you can see in our roster, is going to be some OP OP Yonkos from the One Piece anime here. And of、Bruh. course, Bull Mama. I mean, shh, 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 shh. Just. Shut up! I'm I'm gonna use my bull mama. I don't really care. I know that she's not a freaking Yonko, okay? But <laughs> oh my god, you guys really love to bully me in the comment section, eh? But anyway, let's not try to see the power of the Yonkos here, and hopefully we are not gonna be embarrassed, especially in those big One Piece fans. Anyway, let's go. Originally, we were planning to record and also upload the Over Heaven Army video for today, but yeah, sadly, guys, Anime Fighters about to update, so I was like,、uh, yeah, we're just gonna do it, or probably just postpone it. Maybe after the update of Anime Fighter, guys, we are gonna create that Army video. Pretty sure that some of you guys are waiting for this, but actually, guys, I just realized I haven't even checked Big Mom here because you know she's just <laughs> she's just gonna be a tradable, or probably a collector's unit here, so most probably she's. He's、not really gonna be OP, and with that being said, guys, only Luffy and also Blackbeard here are really part of the roster, guys. Kind of like they're really part of the banner, something like that. So even though they are really goddamn OP on One Piece, please set your expectation reasonably. But a good thing here, guys, is at least we have here a supporting unit, and at the same time, a means to defend against those area units. Well, Kaido got a revamp, but I'm not really sure, guys, if the revamp was just、uh, about his looks, probably you know, like his.、Uh, A blessing, or maybe also about his damage or everything, you know. So I'm not really sure, guys. But yeah, for the meantime, guys, just gonna take care of these early waves and also max out our Yonko Bull Mama, and I'll be right back, boys. I know this sounds stupid and weird, guys, but this is actually my very first time to see Big Mom in action, and not gonna lie though, I was really surprised that her starting attack mechanics is actually full AOE, and also the damage is not really that bad. Of course, guys, her range is actually do do, but I mean. 4.5 seconds for attack, though. But I'm really sorry, Big Mom fans, because I'm gonna need. Oh, actually, yeah. Why not just use Kaido first so that we can also check it? Besides, Kaido will have. Oh, yeah. Look at that guy. Still gonna be an air unit though, but Kaido now got a bigger range and at the same time, a circle AOE. Okay, I mean, this doesn't mean that he's OP OP, but God dang, look at this damage though. At level 80 only, guys, 11,175.5. Ooh, okay. Range is 65 and SPA is 4. Even though his balls is small, as I'm always saying, but still, you know, I mean, it's still a lot, lot better, guys, compared to what Kaido was doing before. Before, guys, he was only like ending up having like a semi TikTok, semi AOE con, you know. <laughs> but yeah, at least now he is like a circle AOE target unit. And actually, I wanted to check Bull Mama. I mean, not Bull Mama, but Big Mama's <laughs> attack effects, guys. So let's just probably upgrade our Big Mom here. All right, there you go, and she will now use the power of one of her son or kids. I don't know. I'm not really sure, guys. I haven't really watched Big Mom on the anime itself. But oh wait, does she have like a burning effect? Not really sure, guys. But I don't think that she has. But later on, guys, we will be able to see it anyway. So that's gonna be on her second upgrade, and now on her third upgrade, she will have this. Oh, this cloud! And look at that, guys. Nice. Okay, I must say that this might actually be probably either better or probably even just a little bit worse compared to Asuna, because Asuna's ability, guys, like the the attack animation of Asuna, is really really good. All right, so let's not try to max her out. 
Oh, too bad that she will only have like a Sasuke type of semi AoE cone, but god dang, this range though, like 91.6. This is not really that bad. 8.5 seconds SPA though, and her range will be at 91.6. These collectibles are actually not that bad. Well, could have been really better guys if Big Mom can hit like those air units. But as you guys can see, if you're a collector, you would really love seeing Big Mom, at least uh, here in ASTD. But anyway guys, enough of that. I think that it's now going to be our showstopper here. Of course, the most OP of them. Not at the moment though in the anime, but we have here luffy i'm not even sure guys is it already canon that luffy is considered as a yonko because in my opinion guys luffy's still nowhere near uh kaido's level but you know what i forgot luffy will have the <laughs> luffy will have like a sausage party here so we are gonna try to stop that and we're just gonna place our luffy together with his own snake orb so as you guys can see on our units here guys actually oh yeah i forgot we placed uh, the range orb to our big mom yeah i should have actually placed the range orb to kaido but like what i said guys it's been a while since i actually used kaido and at the same time and at the same time this is even my first time seeing big mom so okay there we go guys we now have quote unquote i am not sure <laughs> the most recent yonko of them all luffy sama which is also going to be our main damage dealer and i think that it's it would be reasonable guys to actually place our blackbeard as early as now because you know blackbeard would be able to slow down those ground units even though he would not be able to slow down air units obviously but at least you know at least it would definitely be a big help all right there we go guys we now also have here the second most recent yonko if i'm not mistaken <laughs> that luffy is already considered as a yonko now but i think that the next unit that we will be placing would probably just big mom yeah i'm gonna sell this big mom oh actually she is not that expensive look at that for the amount of the range, I think that it's not really a bad deal. But I think that I'm gonna place our bull. I mean, why do I keep saying bull mama <laughs> for big mama? Yeah, I think that was my problem. But I think that this is gonna be our perfect placement for her because some of our Luffy's cannot really reach like the the tip of the corner of this area. So that's just gonna be a dead zone. And I think that our big mom would really love that responsibility on our run. We are 30 now and we now also have here all of our big moms and as you guys can see, pretty sure that big mom would kill me because yeah, I literally just place her <laughs> in front of a freaking hill. But yeah, I mean, at least uh, all of them are now here. So we now have a slower unit and also our main damage unit and a second to our main damage dealer, our big mom. And I think that we're now gonna place our Kaido. So Kaido will have this very small circle AOE. So I guess that it would be fitting for him to just be here in the middle so that, you know, he will just be our initial damage dealer kind of like a support and at the same time he will be able to hit those air units so our luffy is a sniper anyway so pretty sure that he will not have oh my god the hitbox of this dragon is just so weird look at that guys i'm really having a problem look 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 bruh it's so glitch oh huh? oh yeah okay never mind <laughs> but anyway guys so while we're placing and completing all of our yonkos here who among you guys are watching one piece or a big fan of one piece to say the least and who is your favorite yonko pretty sure guys that many of you will say we love shanks we love shanks but the problem is we still haven't seen shanks fight you know <laughs> well we have seen how cool shanks is when he stopped um uh, okay never mind that would be a really a big spoiler for those who just started watching one piece but <laughs> yeah i'm really sorry guys i almost spoiled you but yeah i mean uh he he's also a swordsman so i guess that that's also the reason why he is so popular oh my god dude look 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 i was what i was even getting flung by the tail Oh, or actually, no, 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 like this one. Look, look, look at this, guys. Look at this. If I will just hover my mouse here. Oh, wait, it's no longer doing anything. Yeah, oh, it's actually so weird. Look at that, guys. Our Kaido is just on top of something. Bro, placing Kaido is just so hard. Look at all of the shakes on my camera. <laughs> look at this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it was because of those weird hit boxes guys and i cannot even oh my god clicking them is also a challenge 
Get out of here. Okay, finally, I found a way to at least click our Kaidos and max them out. Okay, there you go. All of them now are here. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, eight of them are now here, guys. So one, two, three, eight dragons are now flying around together with Luffy. Oh, actually, guys, look at that. Imagine if Luffy and also Kaido is actually in the same crew. Like, bro, <laughs> that would be really OP and also cool. I mean, kind of looks like Kaido is Luffy's power at this point. Look at that. <laughs> but anyway, let's now put our fan favorite, Shanks. And I'm pretty sure that Shanks is actually the least effect unit that we have here. Because, I mean, he will only be having like a semi aoe con and it's actually trash look at that guys so i guess that i'm just gonna place our shanks here in front so that at least he will be able to experience the fight here <laughs> but yeah they kind of did our shanks dirty though but at least our shanks can actually hit air units okay finally wave number 39 and we now have placed all of our favorite yonkos from one piece anime and not gonna lie though <laughs> i really had a hard time on placing our kaidos but here we go guys at least we now have have here eight kaidos eight blackbeards eight where are our big moms eight big moms eight luffy's and of course here in front eight shanks so i mean like what i mentioned guys please set your expectation a little bit on the reality side because i do not want you to you know get disappointed but i think that i would consider a wave number 60 uh already a w for us guys considering that we only have luffy and also have blackbeard as our banner units and the rest will be kind of like a tradable unit and also collectible units only but yeah as you guys can see wave number 40 we're still not really having any problems so i guess that we're just gonna skip to waves that will probably push us bruh you know guys i just realized that bruh. i'm actually missing my fire orb would have been still an additional damage for our kaido but anyway guys we are now at wave number 50 and well ironically speaking our shanks and blackbeard working together is actually a solid tandem look at that guys i mean <laughs> well of course our luffy uh can actually hit oh bro i cannot even click my luffy's bro this is so glitchy holy crap oh look at that <laughs> I can't click my Luffy's. But I'm pretty sure, guys, that our Luffy's can reach this corner already because he's our sniper. But as you guys can see, I really think that maybe way number 60 would be easy, easy for us, guys. So I might have actually underestimated the power of the Yonkos here, guys. Well, mainly it's all about Luffy. But actually, with the addition of the damage of our Kaido and at the same time, our Big Mom, I really think, guys, that maybe even way number 65 is possible. But way number 52, guys, look at that. We are still clapping that on this corner but we are no longer one clapping them that's what i'm trying to say but as you guys can see i just love seeing shanks and also blackbeard <laughs> working together we are now on wave number 54 still has an op op display of power here guys look at that they're no longer dying that m oh actually never mind they are now also reaching the second corner yeah, that's not really a good sign for us guys because, you know, especially when they actually reach probably this corner here or probably if they actually reach this corner where our big moms are because our big mom only got like a con AOE guys. So I'm pretty sure if it's not like a line on this line, she would only be as good as single target unit. Yo guys, check this out. We got Ace here coming back from the grave and at the same time, a little bit of our Genbei, the most OP. Actually guys, jokes aside, <laughs> if it just wasn't because of ASTD, I think that many of you guys are still, you know, in love with the character of Genbei because he, he literally saved Luffy's life, you know? But yeah, because of ASTD disrespecting him, <laughs> Whenever I'm seeing Jinbei, guys, I'm now seeing him as a clown, you know? <laughs> but yeah, the hate for Jinbei is just so bad before. Even on the early days of ASDD, guys, there we go. Wave number 60 is now here. And what is this, Namite? I swear to God. When it's all about One Piece, our Namita is always in the front row of betraying us, like for real though. But yeah, I can actually see like a bunch of Naruto units here, probably the beef between Naruto and also One Piece is still ongoing. But yeah, I think that Naruto can no longer be disrespected now. Oh my god, there's gonna be like another group of air units here and this might actually already kill us. Earlier guys, like the, the wave 59 air units that you have seen earlier, we managed to kill it around here. So they're going to be tanking all of our attacks, guys, because our attack priority is on first. And as you guys can see, they're so god dang strong. 
Dude, there's just no way that our Luffy's would be able to kill all of them because he can only hit like one at a time. Wait, even our Kaido's, I, I believe. Yeah, oh my god, our Kaido also got like a very small circle AoE. Yeah, this is gonna be the end for us, guys. These air units are just so tough. Um, yeah, we're not gonna die because of these air units. Oh, crap. That really sucks, though. Our life will end just because of <laughs> just because of the air units. And regardless if we will be able to kill them, I mean, there's also gonna be like a next uh, group of air units here that would most likely kill us. But at least it's not One Piece who actually killed us. Well, that run ended up a little bit faster than I expected. But like what I mentioned, guys, they're not really that OP anyway. Three out of five is just, you know, a collectible unit. But at least, guys, we witnessed the power of some of the most strongest characters on One Piece, the Yonko team. And yeah, not gonna lie, though, it's still gonna be a big W for all One Piece fans out there but anyway guys that is gonna be pretty much it for this video but as always guys as usual if you enjoy watching this video do not forget to leave a like and of course subscribe use star code to know whenever you're buying robux and i'll see you guys again in the next one stay cold the yonko team is finally completed here on astd